My name is Amara and I just want to give you a very quick update if I can. I seem incapable of being quick but I'm going to try. He recently participated in an Indiegogo campaign called Help Save Amara's Life um, which was clearly about me. So it's finished up now. Uh, we did reasonably well. Um, we didn't hit our target however admittedly we were aiming really high and the reason we were aiming so high is I need a lot of things I need um, ideally like a hyperbaric oxygen tent is what we wanted I need a reclining wheelchair I need a recliner or a, an electronic hospital bed for my lounge because I can't be upright for long um, I have a lot of trouble with oxygen in that I have low blood content and I also have um, acidic blood and that means I don't carry enough oxygen and when I had a spec scan which is when they take a picture of your brain and they take photos in slices of your brain um, it showed I get very little oxygen flow to the whole of my brain. I recently also discovered that I have a mass in my brain. Um, it travels from my right temporal lobe into the right side of my frontal lobe. Um, I don't know what it is and it could very well be benign or something I don't need to worry about but I don't know because I'm in the public health system and we all know how that works. It's very slow. I was told I also have cerebral atrophy. I, I don't have a doctor, a Lyme doctor or any an infectious disease specialist or not that they believe in Lyme disease anyway so that would be a bit rather pointless exercise. Um, but I don't have anyone, any specialists or any doctors treating me. I have a GP. I'm a little bit over his head which is I'm over most Lyme doctors heads because I'm very complex there's a lot of things wrong with me and I've been sick a long time and that means more and more things go wrong the longer you're sick so yeah that oh so that's why I don't know what the mass means uh, it could be that it's just um, bone or uh, scar tissue I just don't know now also all the arterial veins around my heart um, they're all blocked. None of the veins that are big enough that reach my heart can carry um, a peripherally inserted central catheter because they're blocked. So the medication, the vitamins, the saline, whatever I needed just wouldn't get through to my heart or past my heart and then through my body. So I'm in a bit of a bind to be honest. The reason we aimed so high financially on the campaign was that as I've stated I don't have a doctor or a specialist and um, it's not an understatement to say I'm dying. I'm very very sick. I'm suffering increased bouts of paralysis and um, seizures, neurological symptoms, dementia, symptoms, um, loss of vision, convulsions. Um, I've just this week twice experienced full anaphylactic reaction. My throat just completely closed. Thankfully we were able to use a nebulizer to relax my airways and open them up again um, otherwise I would have had to use an EpiPen and go to hospital. So I'm just getting increasingly more acute and it seems impossible because I'm so sick and I know that maybe I seem okay right now in this video talking to you but I am working so hard to um, maintain control of my brain. It's like a battle. It's like if you imagine if you're drunk and you're trying really hard to be sober, it's that feeling of just trying to claw my way back and overcome the bugs and the infections in my brain. That's about it I guess. We raised about 
5,860 I think was the figure. Indiegogo takes about 9% when you don't reach your goal. They take um, only 4% I think if you do reach your goal. But as I said we did aim high so we didn't get a lot of what I need. Well to be frank we, we're not, we've not been able to get anything that I need because unfortunately my medications cost up to a thousand dollars a fortnight and that's just not something the pension covers so without you I don't get medicated without your help I don't eat properly so you know even though I didn't reach the lofty goals I had at the start I can only express extreme and infinite gratitude for your participation and support of this campaign and even if you whether you gave a lot or you only gave a little whatever you gave and even if you couldn't give and in instead what you did is you shared the campaign and you liked the posts all of that means a lot so thank you i'm gonna go because I can, otherwise i can't show you if you want to continue to follow me and support me go to the amara campbell foundation page on facebook we've also got an advocacy page which is more about showing you the realities of my existence and that's called a for amara a i d numeral four amara a m a r a and a YouTube channel in that same name uh, that shows all the videos of my reality so yeah just keep in touch and please keep following us and and just never underestimate what a kind word and a kind gesture or a thoughtful post or a like or any of those things what they can do for someone who's having a really bad day okay so um thanks again big love so much gratitude and um i'll see you later i guess okay bye